everyone. I hope you're all enjoying all the activities out in your garden. And I've got a story today. It's all about Norman's new shell. Okay, so we're going with the whole theme of the mini beasts. Um, and this is written by Sue Hendra. Okay, so here goes. Norman the slug wants to be a snail. Help him find a shell. Norman likes this yellow one. But the bubbles make him sneeze. And choo! Wow! A cake with blue icing and a little cherry on the top. But someone has been nibbling it. Oh crumbs! This isn't the right snail for nor shell for Norman. Oh, look, a yummy ice cream with pink, brown and white scoops. Norman loves the sprinkles too. So do I. But the ice cream is very cold and it makes his back feel very chilly. Could this round red apple be a shell for Norman? No, it belongs to a little worm. Sorry, Mr. Worm. How about this? A big green teapot. It's a bit heavy. Norman is getting squashed. Will he ever find the right shell? Do you think he will? I think he will. Yes. Oh, it's a shiny donut with pink icing and multicolored sprinkles. It's the perfect shell for Norman, the slug. Oh, that was great. I really enjoy that book. So I hope you really enjoyed it too. And keep looking outside because see if you look under some bricks or if you look under some stones or if you look underneath the windowsill, see under here, outside. If you look under there, sometimes you can find lots and lots of snails. Slugs aren't so nice, but snails, snails are brilliant and there's lots and lots of different colours on their shells and lots and lots of different patterns as well. Maybe you could draw one, that would be great, or make it out of your Play-Doh, fantastic.